Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off with this pinch pot. Um, we let it sit and rest and firm up a bit, so we're ready to get back to it. Um, same thing, when you first come back to the piece, you need to soften it up a little bit. You need to wake it up. Clay has a little bit of a thixotrophic property to it, so it'll firm up. But as soon as you begin to massage it or agitate it, it will uh, begin to soften again. Get back to that malleable stage. little bit thick here so I just want to pinch a little bit like this I have certainly mentioned that the top has got more thickness and it's important to keep that thickness up there in terms of maintaining some structure that thickness will help you with that <clears throat> If your clay becomes too stiff before you get back to it, make sure you don't squeeze it too hard or you will promote cracks right away. If that happens, rub over them, smooth them out, heal them early. Don't allow them to get too large. And uh, the cracks on your rims, that's where you're going to have the most trouble because, of course, it's going to take the path of least resistance and and uh, split your lip in the firing if it makes it to that point. Usually the drying process you're going to see that and decide it's not going to go through the rest of the process. So what I'm doing now using my thumb I'm pushing the bottom out because I want more width. It started out pretty tapered, very bullet shape, um, nose cone almost. So I want to open the bottom up, make it wider. So I'm using my thumb to push that out. thumb is pulling that clay or stretching the wall all the way up the side okay so I'm, it's it's beginning to develop right okay so this is just uh, this is how you make a pinch pot you just use the pinching motions and listen to the clay you have to kind of be in tune to what the clay is telling you and you can only do that through making lots of pinch pots if it's too wet if it's too thin um, it's gonna let you know it's gonna say back off and if you don't it will <laughs> uh, reward you in unfortunate ways <clears throat> and the clay usually wins. So now I'm going to use the interior, uh, these fingers on the interior, and stretch from the inside just to open that bottom up a little bit more. I really want some more width down there. Ooh, that's a thin one there. So if you feel like you're getting too thin, back off a little bit. And I'll get back around to that spot 
and try to redistribute some clay that I can take from the bottom here. There we go. Okay, so I've opened the bottom up quite a bit now, right? <clears throat> now I want to pull that wall up. getting a little bigger it's coming along it takes a little bit of time but if you want I mean you can pinch pots out really quickly really fast but if you want spend your time and uh, enjoy just the act of, of creating try some different methods Perhaps look at some other videos or uh, get some instruction somewhere else and see what works best for you because there is no just one way. I can tell you what works best for me and I can show you other methods, but you have to kind of work with the materials yourself to really develop your own techniques and the techniques are same they're similar but what works best for you may not work best for me or anyone else everyone is different in terms of their physical abilities or uh, you know maybe your fingers are straight and maybe mine are crooked maybe you don't have the same strength maybe you have to find other ways but they're there okay now it's taking some kind of funny funny shapes but it's going to come together. Trust me. It will happen. I'll make sure of that. It's getting to the point, actually, where I'd like to set this one aside. Not quite there, but getting pretty close. because you can see the top is getting pretty pretty floppy needs to just rest a little bit and firm up and then I can stretch that bottom out a little bit more because I'm getting there okay <clears throat> so we'll let this guy sit and take a little nap firm up and uh, We'll get to another piece.